hello youtube welcome here to another video yes today i'm here at aero beach and we are going to be doing a tour of a graveyard of aeroplanes here in entebbe so this beach houses a number of uh, aircrafts decommissioned aircrafts they have cargo aircrafts passenger aircraft so guys we are going to be doing a tour of uh, these aircrafts and uh, we are going to be doing uh, both an exterior and interior tour so guys guys come with me follow me on this adventure let's go inside let me show you even the exteriors of these planes so come with me let's go yeah so what do we have here this is an engine of an aeroplane this is a very very big aeroplane guys as you can see so look at that so most of the planes are brought here to decay in this place so when you're here you can just come and enjoy yourself have fun you know at aero beach right here in entebbe look at that so this is a british airways plane as you can see that's this is right here so this is the interior of the plane wow look at that so this is where the, the the cargo is kept you know this is where they put your luggage in a plane under here so these are the wheels huge over here look at that big wheels big wheels okay here at Aero Beach right now. Wow, look at that. <laughs> wow. I think that's where... Guys, if you know anything about uh, aeroplanes, you can uh, let me know. Look at this side. Look at that. So when you're at this beach, you can come and enjoy these, these planes over here and have fun, you know. Airways plane. So this is the huge engine. As you can see, these are. This is the turbine. It's stuck, man. I don't know how it moves on the inside, but that thing spins around. So the passen This is where the cargo is kept, and this is where the passenger section is. So this is the interior the plane as you can see this is a passenger Boeing this is a huge plane guys it's really big wow look at that I don't know what that does there's a compartment here those are the gents there so let's take a tour so they built this building in between the plane is in between these buildings so guys this so this is a scrapyard for these planes here at aero beach as you can see that's the entrance guys should we try it out yeah so this is the entry So this is the interior of the plane. Wow, look at that. Wow, looks nice. So, looks like, see, I like it inside. What if this door closes up on me when I'm inside? So when you're here at Aero Beach, you can come and enjoy these views over here that's the exit over there let me put this plastic here just in case it closes it doesn't close completely look at that so these are the aeroplane graveyards here 
at Aero Beach and we are inside exploring it's huge around here <laughs> guys this is where they put your cargo <laughs> this is amazing wow wow i hope these guys don't see me wow look at that so subscribe like and share put a comment in the comment section I want to go to the driving section there and see how it looks like on that side. I hope I don't get in trouble guys. Subscribe, like and share. We have spiders here, big big spiders, look at that. And it's hot in here, it's extremely hot. Someone has passed down there. This goes playing right here at Aero Beach. Damn. This is daring. So guys, subscribe to the Uganda Dream. Check out my channel, guys. Check out my channel. I'm bringing all the best content that I can get you guys. I'm bringing you the best of the best. So subscribe to my channel. Look at those jets over there, fighter jets. Man, that's crazy. Those are all jets over there. No one is seeing me. Wow. So this is a door. Just in case the other one closes, I can use that one. So guys, look at this. This is where the pilots sit. Look at that. Here at Aero Beach in Entebbe. Guys, it's extremely hot in here. We have spiders, huge spiders. I don't know why Entebbe has big, big spiders. All here at Aero Beach in Tebe. Look, look. Yeah. So these guys used to sit here and fly this plane, man. Look at this. What does this do? Wow. Look at that. It's too small in here. It's like a minivan, eh? It's like we are in a minivan or something. Look at all these gears. <laughs> wow. Wow, uh, let's go outside. Yeah. So guys, if you come here, you can organize literally anything here and it will be memories. Yeah. Inside a graveyard of aeroplanes here in Uganda. Look at this this do look at this wow look at that wow guys I'm, I'm sweating in here let me go back let's go back outside so subscribe like and share put a comment in the comment section let's check out another plane here at Aero Beach and it's funny no one has noticed that I'm inside so that's so guys you see i'm uh, literally finding stepping over here that's where they keep look at that wow look at those wings very long Look at those wings. When you're inside, that's the wingspan you can see over here. Wow. wow. So these are the abandoned aircrafts right here at this beach, Aero Beach here in Uganda, in Entebbe. Wow. Let's try out another one, eh? Wow, look at that. If 
if I was the owner, if this was my bench, guys, look at that. When you close the door, this. so we are going back out. So guys, let's go back outside. The music outside this plane is so loud and I was uh, scared of getting a copyright. So I had to uh, remove the real uh, voice sound that was on the video. Yes, but what I was saying is that I would turn these into Airbnbs or into a restaurant or something. These planes, instead of leaving them, I was in this plane, I've been inside this plane, it's uh, I think it's an uh, Ethiopian Airways aircraft, so I was inside this one, as you can see. So you have these small, small ones here, small planes over here, and uh, fighter jets, look at that. So this is inside this one. You can just come. It has a sitting area where you just move these gears around. So if you have a, a child who is into uh, aircraft, eh? aviation, you can bring them here and uh, they have an idea. Look at this. These are all, uh, you know, suspensions, all that. I don't, I don't know uh, a lot about aircrafts, but this is how the interior looks like. So this one is bigger. I think this one is like a eight-seater. This one is like a four-seater. Man, look at this one. Wow, looks nice. Look at that. Look at the frame this aircraft so guys if you say you've never never boarded an aeroplane they're here at aero beach you can just come and uh, have fun you know look at this shaking shaking i like it so there are a number of uh, spiders big 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 spiders here at aero beach So guys, I'm having a blast. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having the time of my life. Uh, let's check out others. Look at this. This tail. So the rules here, you don't have to, you don't step on them. You don't have to step on anything. These are the wings. And remember, the wings have those fuel tankers. Eh? That's where the, the fuel is stored. So this looks like a back of a plane as well, this inside part. And that's the... Uh, this would be nice to enter. Explore. Guys, I will turn this into restaurants, A and B and Bs. You can turn this into an A and B and B. I don't know why these guys are leaving these planes to, to, to rot around here. I don't know why they are leaving them to rot. You can turn this into an Airbnb here at Aero Beach. Guys, I don't know why these people don't think out of the box. This can have, have a bed inside, literally a bed, you know, a dining section over there. You can just come here, pay your hundred dollars for a night and sleep in a, an aircraft, you know? So, uh, management, if you're watching me, guys, you be creative. You can do something big out of these aircrafts over here. Man. Wow. So, guys, let's check out the fighter jets. Two-seater. Fighter jets over here. Then, lastly, we shall check out that big, big, big aircraft over there. Wow, look at that. So, so that's, uh, that section is called a shock cone. Its use is to smooth the air 
slow it down before it hits the engine so guys this is a mig 21 pfm uh, some other uh, other name is called mikoyan guravenchi uh, the first flight uh, the first flight was in 1955 60 years later they are still flying yes the russians named it after a music instrument uh, called the balaika uh, the polish call it the pencil americans call it a fish bed over 11000 uh, 11000 were built and uh, they are the longest uh, produced planes recently beaten by the F-15. So now this uh, MiG-21 has an interesting engine. Uh, the engine was uh, designed a high-speed interceptor and a light strike fighter. So this jet is uh, a high-speed interceptor and a light strike fighter with a Tuminsky uh, Ara 2 Ara 11 or F25 uh, 300 jet engine a turbo engine with a speed of a Mark 2 plus speed yes so with a delta wing uh, it was good if you want to go fast it has a delta wing uh, let me show you the wings uh, it has a delta wing. So that's the delta wing over there. Good if you want to go fast, but bad if you want to make a turn. They were not good at dogfights. Why? Because since they had the delta wing, they were very fast. But when making corners or when they wanted to turn, they were very slow. So that's why they say they were bad at dogfights in Vietnam. They would sneak up on a F1, F5s. In, in, in turns, they would lose speed during the turns. So that's how they were shot out of the sky. Because during the turn, they could lose uh, their speed. How the pilots went out of the canopy. So the canopy, the canopy is that huge glass that covers uh, the top of the seats where the pilots used to sit. Eh? So that uh, canopy was connected directly to the ejection of the seat. So when the pilot wanted to eject, the canopy could open in front of the pilot. So it could shield uh, the pilot from all the Mark II air that, that was... The Mark II air, that means the speed of wind so when the canopy could open it could be it would open in front of the pilot so that when they eject that uh, force of wind could not affect them so uh, this jet had the ability to carry four pylons each side it had uh, two on each side the pylon is uh, that mechanism that's under the wings that holds the bombs the missiles and rockets so it had the capacity to have four pylons on, uh, and it had two pylons on each side of the wing. So it could lift bombs, rockets, and missiles like the K-13, uh, known as the ATOL in NATO language. Uh, K-13 was a reverse-engineered A-9 side winner Hitseeker missile. Uh, the Russians reverse engineered it, so that's uh, the K-13 is uh, a reverse engineered missile, guys. So, so these jets were built uh, by the Russians, to be specific. A quick fact: these jets did not come uh, equipped with a gun. They were not uh, built with guns. They came with a tank of fuel uh, because they only had 45 minutes of flight time. That's why they had a That's tank. a brief history of these mix. So, guys, if you come to uh, Entebbe, you can come and uh, uh, do a tour of these mix. These are treasures, man. These are no longer produced, by the way. So, having this right now in your backyard, that's a big, big, big thing. Because 
Uh, if you go to other countries like the United States, you find them in museums, but they are here rotting right now here in Entebbe at Aero Beach. They don't know the kind of value these kind of jets have. Yeah, this is a, a huge antique right there. Yeah, they were very, very uh, big in a war during the 1950s, 60s. So this is another jet. I've not got uh, the specific uh, details about it, what type, the name. I'm still uh, doing some more research because I've tried to check all archives to get the specific name, but I failed. But it's a two-seater jet, as you can see, uh, ejectable seats, and uh, uh, it's flown by two pilots, a pilot and a navigator. So uh, I'm still making the research about this jet. Uh, maybe I'll make another video uh, updating on the real name, the model they make, because this is not a MiG. Uh, I've tried looking around and I could not get uh, the exact, exact specifications. But uh, right now, let's go and check out uh, another aircraft right here. So guys, right next we are going to be checking out a cargo helicopter. Now, uh, this is the Mil Mi 26 Halo. It's the biggest cargo helicopter in the world right now. In the 1960s, Russia was uh, developing a super heavy lifting helicopter to deliver ballistic missiles to the remote sides of Russia, where other helicopters could not reach. It did uh, provide a lot of support during the Chernobyl incident. Uh, that was a nuclear meltdown, a nuclear power uh, plant meltdown. Uh, this helicopter, the Mi-26 Halo, uh, has eight blades, rotators, eh? uh, and a lightweight uh, gearbox. And uh, basically this uh, this uh, helicopter, uh, its physics, uh, the empty weight could not uh, uh, exceed its maximum uh, gross weight. So what they had to do, they had to use aluminium lithium alloy to reduce the empty weight. So the Mi-26 ended up with uh, an empty weight of uh, around uh, 620, uh, 40 pounds of uh, uh, empty weight and a takeoff weight of uh, 1,200 and uh, 1,023, 200 pounds. That was the takeoff weight. So the two uh, turbo shaft engine uh, has uh, the capacity of uh, 1,100 uh, shaft horsepower with uh, a, rota uh, a ro rot rotator diameter uh, of a massive 105 feet. So a common helicopter has a rotor diameter of 33 feet with an engine of 656 horsepower engine. So that's how strong this Mi-26 uh, is uh, strong. Uh, that's its capacity. It's larger than any its tail is larger than any main or any common helicopter. Uh, and it's, it made its debut in 1981 at the Paris uh, Air Show. It entered service in 1985 and it helped in cleaning of the Chernobyl disaster. Uh, that was a nuclear power meltdown, uh, meltdown dumping a lot of uh, chemicals to try to control the amount of uh, uh, radioactive dust that was leaving the area. So guys, come with me, join me as we take a tour inside the cockpit of uh, this uh, Mi-20. So this is how it opens. I hope these guys don't see me. Ah, look at that. So this is where the pilot so some some guys sit over here and this is where the 
the pilot sits. Look at that. So this is where they sit. Fly. Have some stupid boys shouting over here. They're excited. So I don't want to close myself inside here. Look at that. So this is the interior. So here you have the pilots toward the back and uh, you can have four here around here so this is how it looks like on the interior so you're going this is where the pilots sit this is where the pilots sit in the cargo plane it's a huge cargo plane over here look at this i think these are guns over here all this inside a cargo helicopter looks nice man i've enjoyed myself inside here so guys subscribe like and share put a comment in the comment section we are inside a cargo plane right now a cargo helicopter and man it's big it's really big i've enjoyed myself here so we are going to go back out and uh uh, I think you guys have enjoyed this tour or they can be left here for everyone to tour you know you can just come and have a look and uh, look at all these you know and enjoy yourself around here this is a huge UN door so this is the exit see wow look at that glass over there wow so that's a seat over there that's a huge glass as well and you can ha sit here uh, like uh, four people these are all seats yeah so i've really enjoyed the the doors are not that heavy they're light they're light they're not very heavy so guys let's go back to let's go back outside this aircraft so subscribe like and share put a comment in the comment section so they have a light here yes yeah, that's, that's the roof i think you can see they even have i think these are ladders that go up to the top there's a lot of big spiders here at Entebbe. so guys i've really enjoyed myself in uh, this uh, aircraft i've had fun so guys subscribe like and share Put a comment in the comment section. It's not allowed to come up here. So I'm going to go down now. That's a jet over there. So let's do the exterior. Wow, look at that. Wow. I've really had fun, man. Look at that. So this is the pulley system that they used to pull this plane. This huge, huge thing. Yeah? So these huge trucks of the airport, they hook here and they pull it. Yeah. So emergency release. I don't know what that does. I think this one, when you close it, this thing falls off. So I've, I've had fun here. Wow, look at this section over here. At Aero Beach. That's it for me today, the Ugandan dream. Bye-bye.